What's going on, YouTube and I? It's welcome to another edition of Letters from the Long Box, where myself and Mikey Sun answer all the viewer mailbag questions that you leave in the Geekosity page on on the Lords of the Long Box video that drops every Thursday. But this video will now be dropping Sunday, so you have from Sunday till Saturday or whenever to post your questions. And if we use them, you'll get a Marvel No Prize. They're in the mail. So uh, let's get right to it, boys and girls. Big shout out to Mikey Sutton for uh, answering all these viewer mailbags. This is our 10th episode, by the way. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. I just dropped a Blue Marvel video uh, yesterday. It's a scoop Blue Marvel coming to the MCU. So don't miss out on that. If you make sure you subscribe as well. We are very, very close to hitting 5,000 subs Uh just a little bit over a year, man. We didn't quite hit the one-year anniversary. Our The one-year anniversary of the relaunch of the channel was August 6th. So we got to 400 and like 4,944. So we're almost at 5,000. As soon as we hit 5,000, we will do a really cool giveaway to thank you guys. But let's get right to it, boys and girls. Uh, these first questions are coming from uh, questions that were asked of in the Lords of the Longbox video so from last Thursday. So remember, this video is going to be dropping on Sundays now. I think more people watch them on Sundays, so we shall see. But they've been pretty popular, so we got a lot of questions. Let's get right to it. Uh, the first question is from Scott Rowe. Hi, Mikey. Is Sleepwalker going to be in the MCU, or is he in something... Or is, he, or is he coming to the horror side of Hulu? Great question. I think we've been talking about this, but Mikey's response, response is, he was originally discussed for the Hulu horror series, but then Kevin Feige took over Marvel TV and whatever plans they had were tossed to the side. The character has potential, though. I fully expect him to appear on the horror shows eventually, although there haven't been recent whispers about him. So, yeah, we've been hearing a lot about the that character coming for a while. He has ties to the supernatural, the horror side of the MCU. So just pick him up whenever you see those first issues of him. So it's it's coming. But, you know, unfortunately, this I think what Jeff Loeb had planned, he was coming. So right now, Kevin Feige is kind of taking those plans and redoing them, kind of a reboot of the old PC, and we'll see what comes up after that. But thanks for the question, Scott. Next, uh, the next question is from Mark Metals. I have a question that I'd like to talk about live on the show. Either way, I was curious what you guys think about I have a question that I'd love to talk about live on the show. Okay, thanks. Either way, I was curious, what do you guys think about the DCEU going forward? Should the DCEU change their focus to do more movies based off a bunch of one-shots that they have had doing, like The Killing Joke by Alan Moore? I think he's talking about uh, the animated stuff, which does like one-shots based on the comics, uh, etc., to help out with their movie releases. Rather than trying to launch huge group movies like Justice League, because they are trying to constantly chase the Marvel episodic movie releases. Wow, that is a huge question. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Mikey's response is: The Rock wants the DCEU to stay intact and go forward. If the Snyder cut, if the Snyder cut is hugely successful, expect less standalone DC films and more structured and linked franchises. Ah, so they try to, we've talked about this ad nauseum, at least on our show, that um, the original plan that DC had going forward with Scott Snyder was rushed tremendously. Uh, we eventually, we basically went from Man of Steel to Batman vs. Superman, uh, straight to Justice League, and they put the Death of Superman, the Dark Knight Returns, everything into one film as opposed to releasing solo films, introducing the characters, and then teaming them up in the Justice League. Because you remember, Aquaman and Wonder Woman all came out after. So, unfortunately, um, you know, we shall see where they're going right now. But The Rock at least has a plan on what he wants to do with Black Adam and the Justice Society going forward. So, we shall see. Although, uh, Matt Reeves' Batman series, we do know, is somewhat in its own Nolan verse, you might say. Um, so, we shall see how Batman in is incorporated in that. But... I think D, uh, August 22nd, DC Fandom. There's already teased some Black Adam stuff today if you go check out The Rock's Instagram page. So DC Fandom may give us some uh, new uh, bits of information. And so I'm actually excited about the DC Fandom, which is their virtual, uh, I guess, San Diego Comic-Con that's going to be online. So, all right, we shall see. Hopefully we'll do a show about it. Uh, let's see. The next question is from Subby Dewey. Sorry if I said that wrong. Is the brood going to be in the MCU? Mikey's response is yes. They are being developed for the sword show per Mikey's older scoop. 
right on here. On this show right here, we talked about the brood coming to the MCU, and they're going to be the evil alien bad guys the sword is going to take on on Disney+. Plus. Thank you, Sub E. Dewey. God, I probably didn't say your name right, but uh, bear with me. All right, next question is from Salvador Villarreal. Have there been any talks of Hugh Jackman returning as the MCU's Wolverine? Uh, yes and no. Uh, what we've always found out is, I think this is two questions, actually. Let me see it. All right, hold on. So that's from Salvador. And then Bob Taylor also asked, Hey, Mikey, Hugh Jackman has mentioned that he would love to be part of the MCU many times before. Are there any plans to bring him back as old man Logan? All right, so Mikey's one answer to these two questions are, No current discussions that I know of, but Marvel Studios would welcome him back. Because of his age, it would have a short shelf life as they need a younger Logan who can grow with the new franchise within the MCU. I think we talked about in the past that if Hugh Jackman, Marvel basically said, hey, Hugh Jackman, if you want to come back, we are more than happy to take you back. And it was kind of him passing the mantle to the next Wolverine, possibly doing Old Man Logan or some other, you know, multiverse version of Wolverine to give him the proper send off he deserves as part of the MCU, the proper MCU, not the Fox version. So thank you to uh, Bob Taylor and Salvador Villarreal. Two uh, Hugh Jackman Wolverine questions in one that we have one answer for. So there you go. Uh, our friend Jacob Yakubic, will Luke Cage get revived on either Hulu or FX? Mikey's response is yes, on either one. So it's coming. They don't know where and when, but he is coming back. But the last I heard, uh, they weren't going to bring back the actor, the original actor. Uh, what's his name? Coulter. Uh, they're going to find somebody else, probably somebody younger. He was, uh, he's getting uh, a little bit um, up there in age as far as actors are current. Maybe start with a younger, more athletic Luke Cage. I always say more athletic Luke Cage. If you watch the Luke Cage Netflix series, man, he did not move that graceful at all. At least the fight scenes that he did. I mean, maybe it's the way they had him. He's just really strong and he punches stuff, but he didn't seem to be that athletic at all. But thank you for the question, Jacob. Uh, the next question is from Marvel Freak again. Wow, look at that. He's been on this show like three weeks now. I have another Spider-Man 3 question. Will we see Michael Mondo officially suit up as Scorpion in the movie? Mikey's response, bank on it. I love that. Short answers. All right. Our friend from Down Under. Uh, I'm not going to say his name right, but he's been uh, rocking the Lords for a while now. Conceto D'Amico. Hey, Tivo, Mikey, any casting news regarding Submariner? That uh, would be Namor. Uh, well, he opened the door to the mutants in the MCU. Mikey's answer is nothing at the moment. With the Rock so busy at DC, they might take him out of consideration because of time. Mutants will appear before he does is what I was told. So what that means is originally... Marvel wanted uh, The Rock to play Namor, which is like the absolute perfect casting. They have no problems waiting for him or recasting him with somebody else. But right now it says, uh, would him busy at DC? So it's going to take some time because of that. But mutants will definitely appear before Namor does, and they're going to be sprinkled around. So it's not just going to be, here are the X-Men, boom, there's the X-Men movie. You're going to see mutants here, mutants there, a little bit everywhere. And I think that's the best way of doing it, since there's so many mutants right now that Sony, uh, now that Marvel owns Fox and all the X-Men properties and the Fantastic Four and all that good stuff. All right, thank you for the uh, question, Concedo. Concedo. I probably butchered your name, sorry. Uh, Sean Singeth asks, is Mysterio coming back or is that fool gone? Damn. Uh, there's a possibility he'll be bought back with the Sinister Six. There you go. So thank you for all the uh, questions from Lords and Lawbox. The next questions come from Geekosity. <clears throat> Excuse me. David Steinberg asks, Ryan Reynolds and Taika Waititi are friendly and work well together. They're also, they also share a very similar sense of humor. With that in mind, is there any possibility of Taika being given the job to direct a Deadpool movie? Also, I'd give anything to see Hydra Bob betrayed by Taika. I think that character feels like it was made for him. Mikey's response is, I have not heard anything yet. So there you go. Nothing yet. A little bit too early for Deadpool 3, to be honest with you. Um, uh, quite Quite to the chagrin of one Rob Liefeld, uh, who's probably not going to be involved in the making of Deadpool 3 for all the stuff he said. Uh, Nick Taylor asks, well, we see X-Factor or X-Force bef before or after the fir first live action X-Men. Also, any plans for Bishop? Thank you, guys. Appreciate you giving me something to look forward to during the pandemic. Well, thank you, Nick Taylor. Really appreciate you watching and uh, leave dropping questions for us. 
The X-Men will appear first, Mikey says. No plans for Bishop for the moment, but that will change. Yeah, there are just so many X-Men that, man, they can really take their time and introduce, like I was just saying, a mutant here, a mutant there. Everybody gets a mutant, as Alpro would say. So those are it for this week's Letters of, from the Long Box, Episode 10. Really appreciate you guys uh, supporting uh, Lords of Long Box and Mikey Sutton. Mikey really enjoys answering your questions, and I really enjoy doing them. So this video will drop every Sunday sometime during the afternoon make sure you leave your question in there we'll give it like all you know till friday or saturday and then we'll pick out some questions and we'll do it again so this video will drop every sunday now so make sure you tune in for that boys and girls uh until next time keep digging in them long boxes and peace out